Hello everyone and welcome to Sound Codex. Today I want to show you how to draw automatically draw custom LFO shapes inside your envelope automation. We can do so by adding a script. So extensions, repack, browse packages. If you have never used repack, you can find the video I made about it. You can find it both on top here and in the video description as well. We can filter results by the keyword LFO. And here we have JS underscore envelope LFO generator and shaper dot Lua. You right click install. Right now we have version 2.17. Then apply. And we need one more package that is SWS. This one SWS slash S and M extension. This is a collection of extensions designed to enhance some of the standard Reaper capabilities. The one we are interested in is about the envelope functionalities. Same process, right click, install, then apply. This time Reaper will ask you to restart the program. You restart Reaper. Now you can move under actions, show action list. LFO, here we have it, our script JS envelope. You run it. And the only thing about this tool is that its UI is not resizable. So I'm working with a pretty big monitor, so here the problem is very noticeable. I think that you uh, run this tool with a standard monitor like an HD monitor or a, a 2K monitor, it will look fine. Now for this video, I can zoom in, okay, much better. So here we have rate, amplitude, center and swing. So let's start from rate. Down here we can change the rate value so we can start with a very low rate and increase it gradually we can also add points by simply uh, clicking on this curve editor we can do the same thing for the amplitude the center position and the swing if you want to reset one point to its default position you right click this window will pop up so a node value 0.5 is the default value so click ok and it will reset the point to its default position here we have different settings so time based by default is set to time so it will use millisecond you can change it to beats you can change the lfo shape so from signage to bezier so down, square, triangle, all standard LFO shapes. You can change the phase of your uh, signal. You can add randomness. You can quantize the amplitude. As you can see, it's snapping to predefined amplitude levels. If you are using the Bezier curve, you can change its shape. So from rounded edges to these spikes, these notch edges. And we can add a fade in and a fade out. Now, if you want to reset the entire envelope, you can right click, reset envelope. You can also save your own curves. So let's say that this curve um, is a template we want to save. You can right click, save curve, you can rename it, so we can call it test. Okay, now if you right click, load curve and delete curve will show up, so you can load your test curve. To do so, you'll need to move inside a different time selection, so right click, load curve, test. Now you can add a different envelope. So let's say we want to add the pan envelope. Make sure to select your pan envelope. You can draw a different time selection. Right click, load curve, 
pest. And here we have the same curve for the pan envelope. If you want to know more about this tool, take a look at its documentation. So extensions, repack, browse packages, installed here JS envelope. You can right click about this package and here you have the entire documentation. If this video was useful for you, I invite you to leave a thumb up, subscribe to support my channel and as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.